Pierre, please draw my bath. Hello, you guys. How you doing? Today, we're going to talk about sunglasses. I have 25 pair of sunglasses that I want to show you from the cheapity cheap to more luxury designers. It's summer, sunglasses are essential, and I think they just give you so much, you know? They just, they, they this to your outfit, a little salt bay to your outfit. Um, if you're gonna wear, you know, a plain t-shirt and jean shorts, if you're gonna wear a fancy dress, whatever the case may be, sunglasses definitely give you that extra little sparkle, that little something extra. So I'm gonna share with you some of my favorites. Let's go. The first pair are these bad boys. You might have seen them. I got them in a PR package. I'm obsessed. I've been wanting some heart glasses. Heart glasses are dead cute. They are not for your 15 year old cousin, you know, or daughter, wherever you are in your life. They're for the world, you know, expressing our love through our eyeballs and our sunglasses. I think they can be really chic and cute. I personally wear these with like just a casual summer outfit or something fun, maybe a bathing suit, etc. But they're really cute and there are lots of these online. There's the little fancy schmancy ones from the designers, but there's a ton of really affordable ones. I personally wouldn't invest in a trend like this personally, but um you know there's lots of ones on the cheap and i'm going to share my favorites with you down below down below down below because all of you guys leave comments like where is this where is this it's down below the next pair of cheapity cheaps these babies Ooh, i love life through a purple lens like life through a purple lens is good um these are from my disastrous shein try on but i really loved the accessories loved liked you know fair whatever some sort of positive emotion toward the accessories these are real cute however these are for a look you know these are saying hey what's good where are the tacos hey can i get a little cocktail like hey are we chilling today what are we doing later you know wyd text that's what these are these are not actually going to protect your retinas. These are not going to help you, you know, preserve your vision in any way. You're on your own health wise, but you will look real cute um, with your potentially sent retinas. But, you know, all of that aside, how do I look? Also have these in yellow because they were cheap and they're real cute. Speak to my eternal 90s soul, you know, 90s, let's just call it the greatest decade, you know, when like our childhood, our teenagism, you know, all of that. These, hello, like one, I was going to marry Kurt Cobain, I was convinced, like I was going to see how we were getting married, like that was my man, spoke to my poetic teenage angst, all of that. But these are back in and I'm obsessed. I love this, like, it's kind of like an orangey color and they just look real cute they say hey i'm here for the party what's fun what's good i'm light at heart you know my spirit is light my spirit is easy all of that these yes the fun part about these glasses is that when you change the lens you change the vibe because i went from like yes let's party to you know towel on head large diamond earring you know where is my martini um you know yelling at the pool boy and all of that you know like the vibe has changed she's she's someone else now honorable mention i have them in pink too they probably on camera look similar to the orangey one but the pink one is also light you know it's very slicing watermelon in a backyard you know i'm wearing denim shorts um i'm having a good time i'm friends with the neighbors you know what i'm saying we do game night you get it don't at me don't at me but these um, are the most fantabulous glasses that I own um, and they're part of the, in the cheapy bunch. I'm obsessed with them. They were sold out immediately and you know, people were pissed. Like, why are these not available? I don't know. You know, you need to get on your online stalking game, but here they are. I promise to try to find something similar these are orange i can see you know the light of day very comfortably they sit so perfectly and comfortably on my face ah oh, i live for these glasses i love them so much and they go with 
everything. These are giving me all of the, you know, Turks and Caicos. I'm on a yacht. But also I'm down to ride, you know, a scooter, you know, I'm down to walk, I can take the subway, or you know, put me in an Uber, I'm good. Like I'm good no matter where I am. That's what these glasses say. Speaking of good vibes, I hope you keep your good vibes in your soul um, when you see these next glasses because some of you are going to hate them. And I, I respect that. And I really would love to hear in the comments below how much you hate them because I'll be amused. These are those like trill, you know, dude is like this in the, in the meme section of our lives. Um, these are just trend monster glasses that are just fun and I like them and I think they're just hilarious. Like, I don't know, they're, they're hilarious, but they're cool, you know, they're a little tongue in cheek. Um, and they're kind of a play off of the Poppy Lipman one, which hers are doper because they kind of come out a little bit more. So I got them in, in black. And of course, of course, I had to get them in white as well because different moments of our life require different activities. This is like a little take me to the pool though, you know? Do you feel like pool vibes or spa perhaps, you know? This next pair I saw on my friend Danielle Varnier. She's a UK blogger who is a fashion beast. The girl, oh, she slays my soul. She can dress so well. Um, they look completely different on her to me, but you also have to respect like, hey, glasses may look different on different people. Here they are. I love them so much. How cute are these? I'm giving you like rainbow. I'm giving you, you know, sunset. I'm giving you the diaspora of orange and yellow. Um, it's just, it's like, oh, they're so pretty. I love them so much. And it's cool because I like them even more now that my hair is in, in the braids and it's kind of up. Um, when I had my Afro, I didn't love them as much. I just felt like, I don't know, it was like they were competing or something. But now with this little updo, she's cute. I don't wear these enough. This like little like army green, the sharp cat eye with the square, they're very modern. They're saying, you know, New York City, they're saying LA, they're saying, you know, take me to your local juice bar, but also, you know, where the party at. It's just like, you know, all the things, all the things. I, I don't remember where I got these, but I remember getting them and thinking, oh, I need a, a good kind of like all the time, anytime sort of pair of glasses that were gonna look good. And these are them. I also, excuse me, I burped while I was talking. That happened. Speaking of the anytime, any place kind of glasses, these are the ride or dies. These are the ones that I pick up when I'm just walking out the house and don't care what I look like. These are, you know, I'm a little hungover, but let's do brunch anyway. Um, these are, I'm not doing my hair, so don't recognize me. You know, I'm gonna put on some sweats and run out of the house, but it's sunny. They're nice and dark. They have like a full dense lens, but then they're also just cool and easy. And they're the kind that you just throw in your bag and you don't care if you kind of mess them up just because they're so inexpensive. But I care if I mess these up because these are perfect and they're super comfortable and like lightweight. So I don't want to ruin them, even though they were like $5. I needed you to see these off my face first. Like, do you see this blue sheer lens? Do you see this, this blue? Do you see this color? Y'all, I'm obsessed with these glasses. I don't wear them enough. These are just a look. They are welcome to my rooftop party. They are welcome to my barbecue. I wanna make eye contact, but I'm trying to maintain my cool, you know, kind of trying to keep my look together, you know, pulled in tight and all of that, but, um, what just popped into my mind is that maybe these should be my eyeglasses. Like, should I pop out these lenses and get my prescription put in? Because I've been wanting some really fun eyeglasses and these are fun, but also wearable. You know, like imagine me just living my life. Like imagine walking into Starbucks and here I go, you know, typing up a blog post or sending some emails, sipping my latte, and you're over there making your order. And then you look at me and I'm like this, we catch eyes, I smile and nod, I keep typing. And then you're like, yo, I saw this girl today and she had on these really cool blue glasses. Like, could that happen? Like, could that be us? 
I love a good round pair of sunglasses. These are so easy to wear and so lightweight. I love them. Um, the only thing that's a little bit of a bummer. So you see how they are on my face, right? They're like very new to my skin color. They're very like, hey, we're living our life. You know, we see you, you see us. You look great, by the way. How have you been? Um, then when I take them off and you can see them just against the white background, see how it's a little bit more peachy or nude? Not, not peachy, but like a little bit more blushy nude. I wish that could come through a little bit more on my actual skin, but you know, the brown of my face sort of absorbs that color and they just turn super nude, which is great and I like it. But like, also, these are my you're sleeping in the guest house tonight. I don't know why they just give me these vibes. I think the shark cat eye is just like very dramatic and kind of retro feeling, but also like rich widow, you know what I mean? Um, did she kill him? You know, was it really a heart attack? Mm, who can say? Yet another reason for you guys to come for me. But so like when I bought these glasses, I remember distinctly thinking like what are you doing like why do you want to own these I don't wear them enough and I'm gonna say like I'm the proud owner of these okay I'm proud to be a person doing this from time to time um I will say though the comfort level they're fine this square situation here it's a little unfriendly to my round nose so like if I was more like this you know, um, it work out better for me. But since I'm, you know, I'm doing this round nose thing, uh, it does touch a little. It's not too much of a bother. These are absolute nonsense, but they're fun and they're real cute, to be honest. I mean, I think so. Giving you a little bit of, you know, 1980s hip hop vibe, a little bit of Steve Urkel, like this gold in the middle just completely reminds me of like his taped glasses. Um, so it's a little bit of cool, it's a little bit of nerd, it's a, it's a, it, it's probably a lot of things, or it's like a little bit of a lot of things, which makes them a lot. So there's a lot happening, but I feel mostly good about all of it. Yeah. If you thought those were a lot, then um, this next pair is going to shake you to your bones. But I don't care. Um, my level of Fs for your disdain, future potential disdain for these glasses is in the negative. So again, don't at me. Um, however, <laughs> um, there are days that I walk around with four, four pound lizards on my face. These glasses are heavy. I don't care. They're the most amazing things I've ever seen. I remember seeing them online and going, wow, you really need to own those. You really need to own those. I've worn them in Mexico, you know, I've worn them in the desert, by the beach, you know, places where you could potentially, you know, speak to your lizard friends and, and be like, hey, I'm one of you, you know, or like, I vibe with you, you know, we are one part of nature and such, and thus, therefore, henceforth, I am. But um, in the end, I really like these and I think they're sick and I own them and you don't and um, yeah, catch the vibe. This is the last of my cheapies. I love these glasses. I wear them all the time. I have them in black. I can't find the black pair only because they're probably in a purse that I have laying around because I wear them all the time. But here's the green, you know, for your pleasure. These are also part of that um, Poppy Lipman inspired, you know, the very trendy, really slim glasses. I think people are like super hot or cold. They love them or they hate them. I'm a fan. I think they're fun. And I think, you know, again, it's very like, I see you, but you know, relax. Not too much. Let's talk designer. So these ones, love a good round glasses. Cla cla love a round glasses. Love a pair, love a, love a good pair 
of round glasses. English is fun. Okay, so these are Kate Spade, RIP. That is so sad. Ugh. Um, so these are Kate Spade and I think I bought them in one of those like off price places like Nordstrom Rack or Off Saks or uh, Bloomingdale's Outlet type of a place. And if you go in those places and you like designer glasses and you don't wanna drop all the bills for them, they still cost something. They're not five bucks, but they are deeply discounted. They usually have a ton of really cute um, glasses that are either like trendy or classic or somewhere in between. I got these there. I like round glasses as I mentioned and I loved this color. They are so like pool vibes, Miami, California, just like palm trees in the air. Me, you know, just waving my hands like I don't care. Whatever, you know what I mean? Like they're just really cute and I love them a lot. And I especially love the gold detail around the edge of the glasses and then here on the bridge of the nose. Super cute. These are definitely like my ride or die designery ones. These are from YSL and the color is super nude as you can see. I like them because one, they're like big, they have a nice dark lens, but not too dark. They, so I can see, you know, like if I'm at a party or something and I'm outside, I don't have to take them off, I can see. Um, and they just have like this perfect nude skin tone -y color. So they look great with black, they look great with white, they look great with, you know, any, like any colors. And um, they're easy, you know, easy on the eyes. <laughs> Get it? Easy, easy on the eyes. If you didn't see um, in a vlog, like two vlogs ago, I got a couple pair from uh, Sunglass Hut. My friends over there sent me a couple pair of some designery lovely glosses. These are from Prada and I'm obsessed with them. I think they are freaking so cool. And I love, oh my God, the, the lens is so beautiful. The gradient of like the dark brown leading into light. These are very like, I wanna read my magazine, you know, I'm looking down and I can see perfectly clear, but the sun is also diffused from up here. They're doing their job, you know what I mean? The gold up here is really cute and I love the shape. It's, it's like a, I don't know, it's a cat eye, but it's kind of an almond. I don't know, I'm into it. The second pair from Sunglass Hut uh, are these Giorgio Armani. I don't own any Armani glasses. This is my first pair and I love, love the navy blue and you can see the blue from like the inside. They're really, really cool. And then this like flat little um, situation here on the lens is dope. I think they're fun and really cute. And I feel like these are like, they kind of make an impact. They say something, but they're also casual, you know? So it's like, I'm, I'm going somewhere but you know we're probably going to have on like a boat shoe or a sneaker or something like that so i love these these are from valentino they are this black aviator but they're like super cool because they're kind of narrow here instead of like this little swoopity swoop down like ray-ban does i just think they're really really cool i got these a couple years ago and to be honest they still feel fresh they feel cool i need to wear these more like doing this video is helpful to both you and me and the guy on the motorcycle out there because um, I, I love being able to go through my collection and see like what I'm not wearing enough and these are definitely one of them. Aren't they great? The last pair I'm going to show you are an oldie but a goodie and a total classic. These are from Miu Miu. This tortoiseshell is life changing. It's the perfect tortoiseshell, I think. Um, I love that it's like a little bit blonde. It's a little lighter so it shows up on brown skin. It doesn't kind of quite mix into my, my complexion. There's a little bit of a cat eye, like it draws the eye up. Um, these I got a few years ago. They were like kind of all the rage. I have them in black as well, but they feel timeless now. No, no, they kind of turned into a classic. I love these glasses so much and they're very, you know, I'm on a Vespa and it's cool you know there's the coliseum can i have a gelato those are the vibes that i get from these and i just i love them 25 or was it 26 let's call it 25 25 banging summer sunglasses this is my collection 
Some of them are new, some of them are old. I will create one link for you um, so that just to keep it easy, you don't have to like read like, oh, what, which one was that and blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna make a link with pictures so that way you can just be like, them's cute, them's cute. I want those, I want those. Nah, not for me, these are cute. So I'll just do all of that. So in the description box below will be a link to um, some of my favorite summer sunnies. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my current collection of sunglasses. I do have more but you know these are what made it into this video if you want to see the rest of my collection leave a comment below and let me know that is it for me thank you so much for watching love you mean it bye